this one is a big one for file size more than anything else. So basically, let's have a look. Uh, we have some textures here we can work with. Yeah, that should be enough detail. So when you go to your textures, so they are here. Um, we have this option here. Uh, now, of course, you can adjust all of these uh, per texture, and that will be what is built into the, um, the playground files. So that's much smaller. That said, the original files, so if this was like an 8K texture, and then I put it down to 512 here, the 8K will be built into the mintable file, I believe. And that's why some mintable files are like 2.8 gig, but the, the playground files are like 100. So make sure that once you figure out what texture size you have on in your object, uh, basically get these down to the actual file size that you want to go if you want to optimize your mintable files as well. So yeah, uh, so basically adjust these as you need to. And once again, you can see what they look like uh, very easily by just hitting apply. Uh, but And then keep going up until, still a bit fuzzy, until you sort of are comfortable because that's not too bad. That's only 256. That difference there was very small, so perhaps I could probably get away with that on a less important area. This applies to all textures. So once you have your world how you see it, and you really want to clean up your textures, start doing this with every single texture. It will save a lot of time because every size up is four times the file size, I think. Which gets to a bit of a jump, for sure. Uh, change max size, um, apply, and once you know your file sizes, uh, re-import the, the final file size to your actual project folder. And then all your file sizes will be much, much smaller.